Bailey. Hi. Hi. Todd and Aaron Morning Stream, how are Baffy. you? Baffy, must drink Baffy too. We were just talking to our guests who are coming up, and they have merchandise with them. Oh, that's the coolest thing. And I'm thing. getting into this whole retail business that I don't usually do, so I'm getting a little thrilled here. This is really cool. We're going to talk about that today. Um, first of all, uh, my sister, don't know if she's still snowed in New Hampshire. She had a, She's a teacher. Hi, school, Jen. Hi, Jen. School day yesterday, snow day. So there you go. Yeah, but in New Hampshire, you have to remember, it's not like it's a, a skiff of snow. It's like it has to be waist deep. It's called a blizzard. Yeah. Then all of a sudden, you start eating the young. It's awesome. Ooh, we do have a new baby niece, so that's good. This is too. She's know, plump right? and delicious. Uh, last night. Wow, we started right off with cannibalism. That's probably not the best, is it? This is one of those great shows. Um, so uh, last night, the election, Alabama. Holy mackerel. Talking about, like biting your nails and stuff for both sides. I was interested in the write-in vote because it was 1.5%, which is really, that's a lot. Right. And it, it showed me that there were a lot of Republicans who wanted to vote for conscience. And they wanted, well, to, yeah. and they wanted to vote. They, they knew that it was important that they, they did their democratic duty, but they wanted to vote. They were expecting that. And so they, that, did, they voted their conscience instead. They were uh, expecting 25% and they got 35%. That's a little bit better. So people were motivated by it for a midterm, almost Christmas kind of election, which is always tough. Mm -hmm. So anyway, a lot of... I have a lot of faith in you guys. I have greater faith in humanity today that yeah. we all we all want to work together. It was crazy, And that though. was one thing that the winning candidate that, that, um, Doug. that Doug said was that he said that this, this has got to be about bipartisanship. And he says, we've been fighting this for so long. And it's true. And I don't give the Democrats any more credit than the Republicans. It's one of the reasons I wish we had a third party. But... There's got to be some at some point where you're less concerned about winning and start paying good, attention. Good, good Republicans, us. good Democrats. That's what yeah. we're all looking for, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. So congratulations, Doug. That's really great. Let's go out to the mountains. We can't see, shall we? Well, it'll be nice and. <laughs> you're absolutely right. There's no freaking mountains there. You know they've stolen them. You, right? You know this. This is true. The, They're gone. The evil elves, and then they just bring them back for a laugh. Either that, they took them down for cleaning. Okay, that's good. That's so this is going to last. They're hoping Saturday something's going to come in and disturb this. I'm actually picking up some masks today for the kids. They can't go out to play at recess anymore. I mean, that's sad. N95 uh, N is the... Brought the, to you by Brio Technologies, by right. the way. You're experts in audio, lighting, and sound. Uh, N N95, that's the level you have to have for the masks. Look for that. That N and higher. N95. 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 And a lot of the home uh, home stores will have that, uh, like Home Depot and Lowe's, because um, painters use them. So oh. it stops the... All right. So we don't... You, you try to make a stab at watching football on Sunday, and you'll skip games, and you'll watch about 20. But the only one that really interested me Sunday were the Bills. Now, in Buffalo, New York, these guys were playing. I got I got And it you. was like shin deep. I mean, it was like no, right no. up to their knees. It was... When I was growing up, there were mud games. It was no AstroTurf. It was mud. When it rained, there was mud. There was mud all the way down. People were diving in the mud. People came up with mud on them. It was great. No, you couldn't even read numbers on the jerseys. And it was like there was a certain thing about a mud game that you can't walk. It's too slippery. They had like eight inches of snow. I couldn't take my eyes off it. They would go and out. Still playing. They'd I mean, come out with a brush and they'd brush the lines down, you know, so they could see where the where the first uh, first. Yeah, <laughs> but you lose the ball. Nobody knows where it went. Well, it's no, like, you just start running down the field and you oh, can't you, you can't it. you can't change direction. You're just <laughs> running a straight line and the other guys are coming at you running a straight line and they just hope they intersect you. That's that's the name of the game. It's hilarious. And when you throw the ball, you can't see it. So anyway, the deal is, is um, oh, let me get that Bill's story. Bill's one, uh, which was pretty cool. I think it what was, was the it? Colts, and I think it was like 14 to 7 or something. But so, here's the part great. that was adorable. All right, so. Tell. Oh, can you? You. you me, okay, so anyway, um, uh, one of the ladies that worked at a, at a bar restaurant place 10 miles away from the stadium, uh, she got to work. She goes, oh, i got to get to work. These are always busy days because people stop on the way out of the stadium and have food and stuff. We that doesn't cost them eighty dollars, and uh, sure enough, they they were doing it, and they were they were feeding everybody, and it was great. And it was her chance to leave along with some of the patrons, <clears throat> and they got out, and all that snow, uh, they all got uh, snowed in. They couldn't oh, move their cars, oh. and it was just like, oh no, what are we gonna do? What are you gonna do? You're gonna wait till the bills show up. And so oh, they came to party. <laughs> well, oh, that's well, they, so funny. they were driving by, and they said, well, why don't we stop in? So they a bunch of guys pulled in, and. Uh, and they got out, and all these people were in their cars just rocking their cars back and forth. 
and they couldn't get out. So guess what? Linemen, line. These are the people you want to push your car. And they got out. And They're they, built pretty much like your average grizzly height. Oh my gosh! Size. Yeah. So they pulled, pushed out all these people at the at place. And the funny thing is, most of them parked again and went inside with them. <laughs> well, yeah, it's because it's bills. the bills, and they were all happy and celebrating. That so. is the coolest thing ever. It's a I great mean, story. Seriously. Uh, we have to go back, and I want to uh, talk about my uh, my elves. Uh, I got some Facebook stuff on my uh, elves on a shelf. Um, some were. Um, encouraging, like I'm doing better. We got two, like this. Uh, we got two on our Sounds porch. Sounds on our doorstep. Thank you so much, so you know that I can't give them back this to you. This is how I started out, and uh, you That's know, it's more I, playful than hostile, I think. It really is, because it really it's is. not on. Not yet. Yeah, and then I did this, and then I moved on, and I thought oh, I can do better than that. So I did, and I that probably not good taste. That you know, that elf still smells like two cycle oil. I, I know, doesn't it? It's like Poor perfume. Then okay, that was wrong. I I made a mistake with that this. That was mean spirited. That was mean spirited. Yeah, it really. Was. Okay, so let's see the next. Uh, uh, okay, dun 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 dun. The closest dun, thing I can dun. think is at Ouch. least she went to a holiday thing. Yeah, right, it's it's thematic, and then of sure, course. that's good. I thought, whoa, fireworks, because uh, I had them. Those aren't mine. Those illegal fireworks are not mine. I borrowed them from a ex-con we know. Yeah, that was it. So uh, yeah, and then. The juicer. I'm, th I'm really getting close to the spirit of Christmas. I really am. Uh -huh. And then uh, yesterday, here we go. Yesterday. Yep. Yeah. There you go. Why do you sigh? I am impressed with his knife throwing, throwing skills. You can see him there in the foreground, and you can see right. he was just angling. And he nailed that one right to the left, as I recall. Yeah. So that's impressive. And the crotch is the most important. And that looks like it worked out. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. All right, so you have now, we are now uh, banning our daughter. We have uh, cut the TV cord, uh, cut the cable, cut the Wi-Fi, because our daughter's Christmas wishes just keep mounting. What was it the other day? Traditionally, we usually just make them watch like PBS during, during this month, because it's like otherwise it goes insane. It's, nu it's nuts. Well, I thought I'd gotten everything for her, and then yesterday she saw the commercial for the fingerlings. Now, what are the fingerlings? Can you show a, a picture of the fingerlings, guys? This is actually, ironically, this is actually a counterfeit fingerling, fingerling that we're going to show you because the real ones are sold out. So online stores bought all these counterfeit Ooh. ones from China. Ooh, what are they? And they've been selling those. And actually, apparently... That's, that's a knockoff? Uh, we seized more than 50 counterfeit fingerlings from a shop in Ipswich Town Center last week. They actually... Customs and trade come in and, and, and seize them and hold them because they're counterfeits. Ipswich. So, yeah, Ipswich. Ipswich. So if you're going online, what make sure that you're getting the do? actual right fingerling. What it's do not they, a ripoff. What do they do? It's contraband, so they, they seize it. No, what do the fingerlings, oh. by the way, horrible name. You stick them on your finger. They're little little animals, and you, you put them so they clutch to you like, like a, a little animal. Like if you were holding an animal and it would be... And then? You just look at it. I don't know. I didn't see any more of the commercial than that, but Zoe is now rabid. I mean, she's like a dog. She was pacing around the house we last night. Go. We should go. Screeching, throw away everything you bought me and get me those. I'm what like, did they do again? Yeah, we should go to Ipswich and buy some knockoff ones. Zoe would know the difference. She could smell it. <laughs> So anyway, um, if you are looking for those, there are some on eBay. And Lindy Barker, Lindy, could you put up where you got them? Lindy just said, uh, I just got some. Can you tell me where you got them? Please, oh, please put that up for everybody. It's just, uh, we're not, we're not. So I've seen them. That, they've got really? several on eBay that are, and How the much? nice thing about buying through eBay is, is that it's about twice the regular price. Well, funny you bring up eBay. We're going to talk some guys right here that have a whole new thing with eBay, and they're coming up. It's even better. So how much are they? I don't know. I just know that they're... Because you're going to buy them. Oh, MJ it. says, Chucky's children. Chuck oh, funny. Good one, MJ. I funny. know. But yes, Lindy, can you please put up where you got those so that we can also share that? But they are on eBay right now. There's several, just so you know. <sighs> All right. So um, i, I got to tell you, there's something great happening, and you can't see it. You can't see it. You're not going to see it. The rest of the world is going to see it. But I'm sorry. You're out. NASA's talking about the greatest, best asteroid shower in the history of this year why it's the best why don't we get to see it it's uh, 
Shall we look outside at the morning mountain cam? Yeah, but if we drive that up over would the be good. But if we drive up past the smog, can you do it? No, no. We're we're not allowed. We can't oh. drive up there. You could just we're drive not. up to Park City. You could even that's, drive up to the golf course halfway up the canyon. That's you see Mount, it. Mountain Dell. But gentlemen, it's it's they're peaking, um, and this is apparently the biggest um, media shower of the year. Yeah. And they say that tonight it peaks um, for a full twenty four hours between the thirteenth and the fourteenth. Um, it's like the biggest thing. It's, it's pretty huge. cool. It's huge. Um, the most spectacular of the shower of the year. Uh, the Perseids were kind of like eh, this year in August, so people weren't that thrilled. Um, but most meteor showers are caused by comets. Well, the Geminids are associated with an asteroid called the 320-3200 Phaedon. They should it's have called a, it the Fingerling. Having an asteroid as the foundation of the meteor shower provides an excellent source of dust grains that start flaring as they enter into the atmosphere, which is why you're going to get more after more and more exciting and bigger and flashier than anything Fortunately, else we've we seen this year. Fortunately, we can't see it cuz we have no sky. We can drive up. We have no gas. What is wrong with you? I'm not sure, but it's getting worse. <laughs> yeah, that's a given. This is a story that's going to make you so happy. Tell me. Well, look look it up. It's someone they caught. They caught <gasps> stealing packages. This is so satisfying. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Enjoy. Christina Lynn Martinez was arrested under suspicion of 13 counts of theft yesterday. And this is where the police are saying, please keep an eye on your neighbor's porches. If right. you see people going up and then coming back with packages, right. that's not a delivery. No, that's a take a delivery. <laughs> yeah. That's a rip-off. That's a stealer livery. That's a good one, though. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Anyway, uh, they responded to reports of a suspicious female taking packages from numerous front porches. Officers confronted her and asked her to open up the bag. There was 13 uh, packages in there, and she was also driving a stolen car. So it was kind of like a, you know. Right. And she said, oh, no, no, I, I, I took them for a boyfriend. He made me. And they're and like, where is he? And they th went, 13 boyfriends. Apparently. I said, where is he? And he, she went, I don't know. Pretty much, uh, she she's now? the only one. She is now in police custody. Multiple felony warrants for us. There guys. she is. Nice she's, flared collar. She's 34. It's a lot of work running to people's porches and scampering away. And the bangs, they take a long time. They do. That's a lot of work. You know, there are some things you can do. So there's one angry person with red hair in the front that's gone, so that's good. So one off the streets. Um, here's, here's uh, I heard this yesterday. First of all, don't put a note on your door, which I was going to do, about telling him to put it around back. Don't do that. And the person just goes Reads around the back sign and, and goes thanks, around back. Because what they're basically doing is they're they're watching the truck. They're seeing the package being walked up. So here's something that he didn't know this. When you um, put in the mailing address, right, and there's the, the address, and then there is... Special notes or something? No, it's a secondary address. You yeah. know how they do that. Uh, and you write in, please put package... Oh, you can do it there. You can do it there. And most of the time, the delivery people will actually look at that and say, oh, let's put this one around back. So I thought, you know. And and once again, Woods Cross Police did this, and I thought it was wonderful. They're saying drop your packages off here, you know, direct the UPS or, you know, whoever to drop them off here. We'll hold them for you. We'll call you when they come in, which is a ton of work. And you can come pick them up. And their logic was they said we would rather be spending our manpower meeting our Neighbors. community and saying hi, they're right. chasing around porch pirates. And I thought that was such a great idea. And they said also, if you you have medical issues and stuff and you can't leave the house, they'll bring them to you. Wow. I know, right? That's amazing. Then all your neighbors will think you're a criminal. <laughs> and if they turn no. on the lights, it just makes <laughs> great conversation. <laughs> All right, we have uh, information. Information with Daisy. She's in the Gephardt Daily Newsroom. She is brought to you by Utah Credit Approval. Bad things happen to good people, but you can get your credit back online and get a reliable automobile. Call them. 801-921-9819. Also by Brio Technologies. These are your experts in sound, in visual, in lighting. And they can not only rent it to you, they can come set it up and maintain it for you. You can buy it from them. They will take care of everything at BrioAudioVisual.com. Also by All Utah Plumbing, Heating, and Air. This is the time to check your furnace and make sure you're getting peak efficiency because that costs hundreds of extra dollars. And of course, you can reach Uncle John at allutahplumbing.com. Daisy, my dear, what's going on today? Thanks, Todd and Aaron. Hello, everyone. Here are the headlines for Wednesday, December 13th on getheartdaily.com. Unified Police announced they have a person of interest in custody in the homicide of Toissaint Tyler, the Taylorsville man who was shot and killed Sunday morning. 
UPD has confirmed that the person in custody is the woman who was shown on surveillance video knocking on the door of Tyler's apartment just prior to his murder. Unified police detectives have also served a search warrant at a residence located at 1475 Gillespie Avenue. Two other male suspects remain at large. A Kearns man is in critical condition after his home caught fire Tuesday afternoon. Firefighters were called to the residence near 5900 South, 4000 West, about 4.30 p.m. Once inside, they found the critically injured man on the first floor of the home. He was rushed to an area hospital with life-threatening injuries. The cause of the fire remains under investigation. And Salt Lake City Police have arrested a woman suspected of stealing packages and mails, mail from people's front porches. 34-year-old Christina Martinez was busted in the vicinity of 500 East Redondo Avenue about 3 p.m. Tuesday. Police say Martinez was not only in possession of stolen packages and mail, but also a stolen car. She's now cooling her heels in the Salt Lake County Jail. Time now for a look at the Wasatch Front weather brought to you by Brio Technologies, Utah's top audiovisual experts. Mother Nature may have forgotten the snow this month, but she's definitely brought the freezing temperatures. Highs in the next three days will only be in the 20s, while nighttime lows will hit the teens. The chance of precipitation the next few days is just about nil. That's it for now. For more local headlines 24-7, go to GetParkDaily.com. For now, Todd and Aaron. Back to you. Back to you. Thank you, Daisy. We um we've got. Uh, I'm really excited about our guests coming in. All I'm, Utah plumbing. You got to talk about these guests. Uh, all Utah plumbing. Uh, John Justice Santa. I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, he uh he he's out with his crews right now, and they're going crazy. But they still have some openings uh to go out and check your furnace if something's not working right, smells weird, and you're concerned about safety for your home or your efficiency. He can do that. He also has this deal going on right now. And the deal is, is that uh, between uh, the, the furnace and the AC unit, and I know you're thinking, why AC? It's winter time. Uh, they work together. And if, so if you replace them, you will actually get a free um, uh, air scrubber. And with all the dis discounts, excuse me, it's like, getting, um, it's like getting a free furnace. So if you want more information, all you have to do is go to allutahplumbing.com and talk to John and his crew, and they're going to take care of it. All okay, right. I know that I was playing around with this stuff. Yeah, it was front. rather distracting. Well, we'll tell you about it in a minute because we've got some guests in the studio, but I was all excited about the Shopkins there. But anyway, let me do something better first. Tell me something good. All right, go ahead. Let us make you all feel better. Okay. Now, Aldi's is one of those big grocery change back east. It's a lot like Smith's here. What's it called? Aldi's. Aldi's. It's primarily through the south and the midwest. Okay. So I know up east we were more... What were we up there? Doesn't matter. The Hannafords? Mm. Yeah. Anyway, um... I thought this was really stunning. In celebration of the holiday season, they said that they're going to, they're announcing a plan. They're going to donate all the unsold fresh food to various nonprofits and charitable organizations on Christmas Eve day. Anything that is not sold out by noon on Christmas Eve, right. they are going to gather up. This is all the fresh meats. These are all the cheeses. These are the People vegetables, all it. that stuff. Yeah. And they are literally going to clean out the entire fresh food part of the store and they're going to donate it to charities nice tell me that's not incredible. it's all chain too it's not just one store yeah that's ten thousand stores in 18 countries so that's that, that's an insane amount they say we can't deliver because it's just too big a volume so they're going to have like just lines and lights of like the food you know the food pantries mm -hmm. and all the different organizations just waiting at four o'clock and they're going to start chucking stuff in oh cool isn't that amazing that's a great story i thought that was wonderful all right so um coming up um we get to meet the guys. It's always Black Friday. That's not an expression. That's an actual store in Ogden. It's really cool. And you, you're going to go, wait, what? And uh, since we are throwing out all the presents, we do want to remind you to drop a comment because it is time for Christopher's Prime Steakhouse. This is our big thank you. That's right. This is basically where we tell you we love you so much. Uh, you realize we're coming up on 2 million views, and it's because of you <clears throat> in eight months. Even we're kind of surprised by that, to be We are honest. annoying, and we know it. So, so anyway. we're thinking the best way we know how, which is basically the, the Festival of Meats. You may not have heard of this. This is one of the lesser-known holidays that goes with Kwanzaa and Christmas. It's the Festival of Meats. It makes the vegans cry. Uh-huh. So basically, we send you and three friends down. All you have to do is comment on the page today under the show. So if you're watching on Get Part Daily, Get Part Approves Facebook pages, or you're on the Todd and Aaron page with us, just drop a comment. You're entered Friday. We pick a winner. All right. There the you go. Festival of Meats. It's always Black Friday. The store, Ogden, the guys. Tell you about it next.
Todd and Aaron's Morning Stream brought to you by Utah Credit Approval. Bad things happen to good people helping you on the road to good credit with just the right car. Go to utahcreditapproval.com or call them at 801-404-7201. Also brought by Columbus Travel. Columbus Travel has an epic sale on cruises through the 21st of October. You can get the hotel and everything you can imagine just for less than the price you would of simple airfare. You have to talk to them first at columbusvacations.com. And all Utah Plumbing. Your home deserves the best. 24-hour emergency service at allutahplumbing.com. Did you know you can catch the Todd and Aaron Morning Stream any time of the day or night on Facebook, YouTube, and SoundCloud, and GetPartDaily.com? We wanted to give people a chance locally to buy all of our things without having to face shipping, still get all those online prices. Even when you buy brand new things out of the box, you can get them and they'll be not working or there'll be a piece missing or something, but we make sure we check everything that we have so that it's working properly and in order. If you bought it here in the store, 30 days, bring it back. Even if you don't like it, just bring it back. We'll either give you a refund or we'll exchange it or we can put it towards credit towards something else. Or you don't have to worry about meeting somebody off the freeway exit, you know, open up the back of their van with some product that might be Samsung. You don't know what's going on there. This is a, you know, we got a physical store location that you can trust. All right, we are back. Thank you very much. These are the guys right here, Jesse and uh, Ben. Guys, I got to tell you, I heard about this just yesterday. Yeah. You're a brick and mortar store. Yep. But you're eBay. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you actually do? This is that the things you're seeing here is part of their business and what they do. All right. So yeah. What do you do? So what we do is we buy stuff in bulk. You know, huge right. huge shipments of things. From, break it down. Um, from different oh, different places. Okay. All right. Um, but all of it is you know trusted names. You can see right, we got. Right. Right. It's not like you guys were talking about knockoff brands. We don't right. ever get that kind of stuff. Okay. Um, this is trusted places where you have to get a certain license in order to buy from okay. these things. All right. Stuff like that. You know, we buy these big bulk lots, break mm -hmm. it down. Um, and we can buy it cheaper that way. Mm -hmm. And then we can sell it cheaper. Mm -hmm. So uh, we'll break it down and put it on eBay. But then we got a lot of people in Ogden and locally in Utah that were right. buying stuff. So we're like, hey, why don't we open up a store so they can save on shipping? We can save on shipping. We can, you know, talk to people, get. You know, this does sound like 40, 40 year old virgin, right? Yeah. When that the concept, right. some of the concept is right. okay. Except for except for you can actually buy stuff in our store. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Not the big boots that right. you. <laughs> All right. So um, people come to your store mm -hmm. and they're looking for something specific or like a bronze shaver. Right. Okay. So yeah, they're yeah. looking for this. Yeah. You have one. Yeah. And what kind of pricing are we talking about? So yeah, so that one right there you can see is like sixty-eight bucks. They're usually about two hundred. Right. Um, depends on the That's model. Crazy. You know? um, so yeah, and the same thing with like the Beats over there. Those go for about two, three hundred dollars usually. These are great. Yeah, and we sell them for about one fifty. Um, wow. Different stuff like that. Same thing. These ones. You know, they're 150 I believe, in the store. We'll sell them for, like, $80. Oh, these are great, too. I've seen these. Yeah. Uh, we got the wired ones as well. How much? I don't like wireless ones. Uh, 50 bucks usually. Yeah, 50 to 80 somewhere around there. All right. Um, depends on the model and the So if you're thinking about gifts, this stuff, might yeah. be a good thing. I want this one Absolutely. right here. Yeah. I have a six-year-old. Yeah. Yeah, I have so, also. All right, something like this. It. Retail would be what? Um, I think it's, like, $30, I believe. And this? Uh, I think we're selling for fourteen. We're talking about Shopkins. Yes. Yeah. Thirty nine ninety nine. Oh, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Aaron knows. Aaron knows. Oh, this well, this will drive Aaron crazy. Um, you also have. You also have. Yeah. Spider jackets. Why yep. am I not yep. doing this interview? You want to? Come on in. Take no, over. No. Are you sure? <laughs> The spider jackets. What do these go for? Because I know they're pricey. They're usually about five hundred dollars, four to five hundred. Um, right. Right now we're selling down for two twenty nine. Yeah. Um, so so, how long have you been open? Uh, since last December, yeah. our, our store was open. Right. Yeah. And how are you doing? We're doing pretty good. The yeah. word's getting out. It is. It's picking up. Um, we actually had that, to expand our store. Yeah. And so we've we've opened up a a new store. It's four times the size of our old store because right. we've had so much demand for the store. So you're still selling your stuff on eBay. Yeah. Yes. And you're also taking care of the local people. Absolutely. Where is the store? It's up on uh, 865 West 12th yeah. Street. Yeah. 12th Street. Okay. Yeah, in, in Nature Ogden. Center. Right so across it's just, from the Nature it's Center. It's just across from the Nature Center. It's always Black Friday is yes. the name of the store. And you guys, this is really cool. 
and you've extended you you've expanded your store. Yes. Yep. Is anybody else doing this? I'm I'm wondering. Not, um, not that we're aware of. Yeah. Because eBay eBay is a little is a little um complicated. It's getting more complicated. It is, it is and it's yeah. getting more expensive too. Yeah. This is how I eBay. Buy it now. Yeah. yeah. That's, That's my job. Mo yep. Most people do. Yeah. I'm not going to sit around. I'm not going to sit around for uh for uh, four days. And sure. wait for something because sure. I can't. Yeah. yeah. And then you lose for four days, and then you don't get it. Mm -hmm. Right. It's ridiculous. Yeah. And and we, with all the fees that we pay, we're and that's what the reason why we opened the store because we pay such expensive fees. We just wanted to pass all those the fees. We pass that as savings on to mm -hmm. right. our local our local audience. So when I come into your store, um, what kind of things to? I mean, you must kind of focus on certain items. So if I'm coming to your store, what can I expect to see? Because so, I'm looking now, and I've, yeah. I've got shoes, and yeah. I've got the coolest pillows, and things like that. A anything you're going to see in stores like Best Buy, Costco, mm -hmm. any of those things. So there's going to be housewares. There's going to be uh, great electronics. Apparel. What else would you see? Um, oh, yeah, we've got tons of clothes. Yeah. Facebook page? Just, just normal houseware stuff. Right. Yeah, we have a Facebook. Where, yeah. What is it? Uh, should be always Black Friday store. Yeah, I believe it's all right. So. Yeah, and do you'll have some kind of idea what your inventory would be on that, a little bit. Yeah, and actually, if you go to our website, alwaysblackfridaystore.com, okay, then you can look at everything we have listed on eBay, oh, which is go. very similar. Our, we're going to have the same inventory yeah. in the store. Yeah, and if, if you you can buy it on eBay and you know, send us a message and say, hey, I'd like to pick those locally. We'll take shipping if there was any shipping costs. Most of our stuff is free shipping, but because <coughs> it's right there. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. This is really cool. We're it's actually Black Friday. Yeah. We're actually offering a Todd and Aaron special right now. Where <laughs> does it have to do with spider jackets? Because Aaron's crazy about it. It, it, no, it is actually. actually it actually, it, it yeah. is so, Aaron. It's about spider jackets. All of the <laughs> items that you see here that we've that we've shown yes. and a lot more items. Right. We, we have what we call our red tag items. Uh -huh. Anything that's a red tag red tag item, we offer. If you mention Todd and Aaron, no, that's, that's, that's. if you mention Todd and Aaron, then you'll get fifty percent off those that item. Who's going to be well, logged in this afternoon? Aaron is. Plus, one other thing we're offering as a kicker, this speaker right here. Which one? That's a $15 speaker, and it's it's water resistant, and it has great sound. It's Bluetooth. It also, oh, when, I you, love these. when you um, when you get a call, you can answer your phone on it. Right. Um, what else? What That's else? scary, uh, by yeah. the way, when it happens, <laughs> so be prepared for that. It, it's, <laughs> it's a really cool speaker, and um, we're actually offering, we, we have about... 70 or 80 of those speakers yeah. okay if you come in mention todd and aaron we're actually just giving those away while what? they last <laughs> what time do you open um 9 a.m 9 a.m yep. okay you guys are gonna have to get back to your store <laughs> um so, uh give them the address one more time 865 west 12th street okay so the free yeah. speaker deal for the people who show up and while they last mm -hmm. um you've got this the red tag specials and how much are those uh, the red 50 tag 50 percent off 50 percent off yeah. Let's just go through this. So the spider jacket is two twenty nine. Two twenty nine, and the fifty percent off is be one thirty. A lot, or one fifteen. Yeah, yeah one fifteen. And Erin will go, and she goes, "I'd like to mention me," and she'll get the discounts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for coming in. Yeah, it's a new you. concept to me, and uh, I think it's just a great yeah, deal. Great All right, honest. guys. Thanks, thanks so, much. so much. All right. All right. Uh, go check them out and mention our names. Don't be embarrassed about it because you get a great deal. All right. We'll talk to you in a bit. We are award we're award winners, by the way, at our night of DI. Oh, this is theirs. And once again, our smooth transition. Hey! How are you? I'm sorry, I'm still in the back just like molesting the spider jackets. Stand up for a second. This is because you're short. I'm not short, I'm Sit. above average. Gal. Such a jerk. Oh, I think we need to give them the rest of their stuff back. That's what I'm working on right now. All righty. Hang on, we'll be right with you, okay? Uh, no, 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 no. They, they, actually, you can go ahead. I can just do this. The Museum of Failure. Now, here's something I find incredibly interesting. The Traveling Museum of Failure has been 
deemed a resounding success. It's sold out in other countries. Isn't that awesome? It's a pop-up museum that kicks off the U.S. tour in Los Angeles. It's dedicated to failed products. Now, it is going to be here in Salt Lake City, but not until March. Um, it has got includes a Donald Trump board game and the DeLorean DMC-12. Can you show no, a picture of that? No, wait a minute. The DeLorean is a winner. Are Gulf you Wing Doors, famous movie, stainless steel. It was a failure. It's a DeLorean. He it's tried to refund his flogging company by selling Coke. Coke. <laughs> it was a failure. You would think he would have had time to paint stainless it. steel. Awesome. Well, it's funny. It was conceived by a clinical psychologist out of Sweden, and he said that he specializes in workplace innovation, and so he kind of knows what works, what doesn't, and he tries to guide companies in that direction. He says, it's hilarious to think of the Museum of Failure as a success. I didn't expect it, and I still am shocked that I'm opening my nerdy little exhibit. But it's really, really funny. I mean, there's funny and stupid things. Um, there's the Apple Newton message pad. Remember that one? <laughs> yeah. The co coffee flavored Coca Cola blink. Remember that one? No, but it sounds like a failure. Yeah. Um, the back. I'm back in your fired Trump game. Colgate brand frozen dinners. Do they taste like the toothpaste? Say it again. Colgate brand frozen dinners, like Colgate the toothpaste. Oh, I know what I'm thinking. Gross. Um, Volvo's all plastic bicycle. Oh, that's right. I remember that. Wi-Fi and enabled. And that was be that was before carbon fiber, so it was just plastic. Oh, this is epic. The Wi-Fi enabled juicer juicer Rio. Because it's Wi-Fi enabled, so you can make juice from the other room. So you have to drain all of your Wi-Fi to operate the juicer, and then it racks up your your Wi-Fi charges. Because yeah. if you're if you're drinking juice and you don't have the energy to go to the juicer, something's wrong with your program. Probably so. And then there's actually a failure confession booth where visitors can anonymously post their own failures for others to see. That's great. That's hysterical. So yeah, we'll see that here in March. I'm dying to go to that. This has finally happened, and I'm. Uh, I, I knew it was coming. And speaking of failure. I think that Oreo might have hit a little stumbling block here. You know what? They're really popular. But they keep coming out with new ones. The novelty flavors. So far, we're doing. They're doing pretty good. No, some of them were actively troubling. Okay. So but which one are we talking ones, about? Yeah. Can we unveil the new product line, please? If you could show the picture, there is. Okay. What do we got? Pina Colada Oreos, hmm. kettle corn Oreos, ah. and cherry cola. Oreos. Are they running out of stuff? Mm-hmm. I don't know. And there's two more seasonal ones coming back to the shelves. Marshmallow Peeps flavored Oreos and then also Fireworks Oreos. So here's one of the ones that's really trust troubling to me. The Firework Oreos has got Pops candy in them. So oh. when you bite into them and it goes... Oh, that's cool then. And you're chewing it. You think? I think it's cool. I like the, I, I like the sparkly things in your face. Maybe the kettle. Uh, no, not even the Pina kettle. Pina colada. Corn. Unless there's alcohol involved, I really don't feel like I did see they, the point. They salt the edge. Did they? Um, did oh, that's margaritas. Did they? Uh, did they come out with an eggnog one? They, they must yes. have. Yes. Right. Okay. That that didn't last long. That was one season. All right. That might be going in the museum of failure. Ooh, they could have a whole Oreo line. Right. All the bad ones. The ones that nobody would eat. The worst kind of black licorice. <laughs> Uh, Ace Hardware has done something that is... That's hysterical. It is. Well, let, let me explain this to you. Uh, you go outside, your blood vessels contract, you're shoveling snow, uh, you overexert yourself, and a lot of people have heart issues when they're not used to doing that kind of activity. Yeah. Here are some suggestions that you should use. And more men get taken out by heart attacks than women because men seem to be more task-driven when it comes to shoveling snow. It must be done, it must be done, it, it must be The done. whole thing must be done. Small, yeah, women might notice, hey, I'm getting frostbite in my fingers, and they might go in and warm up, but well, not you guys. smaller shovel, do a certain portion at a time, warm up in advance, maybe a little stretching, and then dehydrate. Oh, rehydrate. Uh, and those things will help you. I guess that means your eggnog uh, snowblower binge up and down the street is not going to happen this year. It was awesome. The neighbors did love you, though. I can't stop because I only get to use it like twice a year. And I have this 15-year-old Honda snowblower. And when it snows, I, can't, I do our driveway, and then I do the sidewalk, and then I keep going. And I get to the end, and I turn around and come back. And I was like, well, there's a driveway. And then the next thing you know, and this is Christmas Eve. 
Christmas Day, I think. Christmas last year. Day at, at night, at that night. And people were coming out and offering me money because they couldn't know, didn't know I was their neighbor. So I took it. And then. <laughs> And they go, no, it's me, Todd. I live up there. Oh, and then I get hugs, which was great. So here are the signs. Number one, if you don't have a Honda uh, snow blower, um, uh, chest pains, tightness uh, or, or pressure, nausea, chest pains, sweating, and lightheadedness. Uh, you got your neck, jaw, and shoulder pain. You got back pain. There's a lot of pain involved uh, and a lot of fatigue and breathing hard. Well, that's what you're doing. You're shoveling snow. What if you forget these things? What if you forget the signs of having a heart attack? The clear and well-documented signs. What do you do, Todd? What Ace do Hardware do? has figured it out. They put a sticker on the shovel. <laughs> that is awesome. So every time you lift you it, you're forced you to face your own mortality. I'm going to die. <laughs> I'm going to die. That is brilliant. That is brilliant. That is so funny. Plus, oh it takes away the liability. <laughs> <laughs> I'm real sorry that happened, Mrs. Johnson. Do you have life insurance? That's yeah, going to be just fine. We're good. We, uh, we didn't. Yeah, we, it's not our fault. That is so funny. You know what? I think that there's a certain amount of men that might feel redeemed today. Now, you are not like this when you get sick. You don't do the big baby thing. I've been fighting this. Okay, I will, I will point out I have dated men who have done the big baby man flu thing. But you are not like that. However... You dated people before me? No, honey, not. It was... Some a friend of yours? It was yours. a friend of mine that told me about it. Okay. So there, because this bugs me. It's like, oh, men got a splinter, and next thing you know, they're in bed and crying. And then women get up and they like lift weights and jump buildings in a single bound. Well, we do. And I, I just don't like the thing. It's like, well, men are. Yeah. And I mentioned yesterday, it's like we're sitcom dads and husbands, where it's just like, wah, wah, you're an idiot. No, you're not. So, scientists. <laughs> If you are one of those people, the guy who just seems to have it worse and lays in bed and is like needs some cold medicine and stuff, which your wife would be happy to take care of, uh, there might be a reason for it. They found Look a good deal of face. evidence suggests there is an immunity gap between men and women. This is a Canadian researcher, eh? Who they have free eh? health service, uh, and they're tired of being accused of overreacting. Okay, so the man flu. Oh, go ahead, right, right there, right there. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Man flu is a term that's used to chide men who are suspected of exaggerating their symptoms when sick from a cold or other minor illness. It's a frequently heard stereotype, but apparently, with many respiratory diseases, a man is more susceptible to complications than a woman. Plus, his immune system is naturally weaker. Um, there, for instance, uh, he was looking for simple searches just to kind of prove his point, and we found out that the immunity gap. Um, it really does mean that men will have higher temperatures, that the, the, the cold or the flu will last longer, right. that the body aches are more intense. Right. So basically it does exacerbate some of the symptoms. So yeah, you might have, a, you might have an argument there. Um, uh, so the men are all happy right now and the women are disgusted. Read this line, please. Well, uh, <laughs> Dr. Kyle Sue also did point out that while there is a good deal of evidence that is suggestive of an immunity gap, it is not definitive yet. So men are wimps. No. It's basically what he's saying. No. That's basically what he's saying. I don't think so. All right, so coming up, what do we got? Oh, um, uh, the Today Show, something really met Lar Larder was uh, fired. Uh, For sexual harassment. Something came up that's like really kind of surprising to a lot of people. It's coming up next. The Todd and Aaron Morning Stream is brought to you by Fink and McGregor, Mortgages Made Simple. If you go to fink-mcgregor.com, you'll find out that you can get a mortgage with a credit score as low as 600. Fink and McGregor, also by The Vein Clinic. If you go to theveinclinic.com, you can schedule an appointment and find out some amazing options for pain-free removal of varicose veins and spider veins. Your legs can look great again with The Vein Clinic. And also by Black Diamond Experts. They're experts in electric, plumbing, heating, and air. And they also have a brand new store up in Ogden now. If you'd like to reach them you can go to blackdiamondexperts.com so jeff you do mortgages right i do how do you do well you go to our website fourminutemortgage.com fill out the application we'll call you within one business day the whole thing takes about a month to start to finish we went to the bank they got really personal I went through all of our personal records and all of our finances. And then there was that little deal about the $8,000 closing cost. 
It took like four months. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Hi everyone, welcome back to the Todd and Aaron Morning Stream on GetPartDaily.com. Uh, yesterday for the Collard family, which... Oh, let's go to Brio Technologies. There's our fog cam. Oh my gosh. This is the Brio Technologies, your experts in lighting, sound, and video fog-ish, smog-ish can. See, it looks nice from here. Here it it's doesn't frosted. look like you're screaming, hey, I'm a carcinogen about to enter your right, lungs. Right, Here it looks like it's just friendly. You know? Nice. Really. So ye yesterday for the Collard family, it was on Medical Tuesday. Uh, I, uh, I went and had uh, my eyes looked at, and this eye, it looks like they're going to do a little surgery deal. And I only, That was a good two hours. You went through, like, what, four ophthalmologists? Yeah. That was pretty good. They just send you along next, 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 and everything they do blinds you. Uh, dilation, then the super bright light with it dilated. It's Anyway, I'm a baby. Oh, man flu. So anyway, uh, I had the same question for every doctor who came in, which was, how do you keep my eye open during this surgery? This has really been an issue with you, hasn't it? Don't bump the camera out of range. Okay. Pretend this is a scalpel, okay? This is a scalpel. It's like, hello, Mr. Collard. We're just working on your eye here and cutting some stuff out. Like, oh, the oh, little dot there. That doesn't bother you, does it? When I had LASIK. Yes, it will. When I had LASIK, I didn't notice a thing. That's not LASIK they're I was doing. Also they're replacing. Xanax, so. they're repl they said they put something in my arm, and I told them both arms, please. Yeah, I you just, asked for that from my first visit when we had the twins. I mean, you, you <laughs> kept asking if we were going to share. No. Um, but I, 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 and they say is they put. Like claws, like clockwork orange. Do you remember the scene? Oh, yeah. Where they, eh, and just get in there, and it takes like 40 minutes. And I said, I don't think I'm going to stand still. He goes, yes, you will. I'm going to paint your face up by, like Malcolm McDowell's before you. Oh, what I'm... Oh, yeah. nice, bacon. The, the, you're offering bacon. How many pieces do we have? We have two pieces of bacon. <coughs> Take the bacon. Right, I'm taking the bacon. Thank you for the bacon. I understand we only had four pieces of bacon this morning, and they are sharing... Two pieces with us. That is so beautiful. That is beautiful. It's almost worth being taunted yesterday so cruelly. It is. All right, so, uh, and then Aaron, uh, so so I'm going to go and do that. And then Aaron, uh, your voice goes, and this is like the swallows coming home to Capistrano. Happens every year now. And you get your voice thing going, and then it turns into like a severe laryngitis infection kind of crazy. And we were on the radio uh once upon a time, and uh, it's like this, except not as fun. No pictures. Yeah, it's uh, kind of crippling in our line of work. Yeah. <laughs> and she was uh, couldn't talk for two weeks. So, you uh, we have a, a new plan, which is you go down to the, what is it? I just go down to our urgent care center, and it's usually two seconds because they happens every year, and they yeah. go, oh hi, Erin, you're back. And they here. have a file, right? And they do a quick strep, and then you know they give you a little uh, butyrol treatment. They give you a steroid, and you go home and you take your steroids for two days, and your voice is normal again. It works. Instead of the first time where it was a six thousand dollar thing, where they're like, "We need to teach you how to talk again, <laughs> and how to breathe." And she, I'm like, "You can't. know, I you know what I do for a living, right? I, I know how to breathe." And they didn't believe me, and I went through six weeks of lessons that still didn't cure my voice because it just needed to shrink the vocal cords again. So. She came back from that first one. She didn't go to all of them. I, mean, I said, how was it? Did they do a therapy with steam or something? And she goes, no, they're trying to teach me how to talk and breathe. Use your diaphragm going, ba ba ba. And I'm like. <laughs> do that again. That's kind of hot. Okay. Um, yeah, so anyway. So anyways, I went in and I figured, okay, it's, there would be a couple of other people. It's cold and flu season, so let's say an hour-ish. I go in there. The entire room is filled. You ever been to the waiting room there when it's filled? And these are people like that are bleeding and rocking back and forth and crying. I'm like, this is going to suck. So you're talking like broken bones you can talk about. And I'm thinking, why aren't you at the emergency room level? Right. But, um, so she checked me and she goes, look, it's going to be an hour and a half. Just go do something. Come back. I went, okay. okay. Did a couple of things. Came back. I wonder where you were. Sat down again. Waited. Waited. 
waited for another two and a half hours. I waited, and they're so nice because they apologize. And they're like, really sorry. And just so, as she so, picks so up kind, my file, kind of boring time. For well, you. no, it's just a huge freaking waste of time. Four right. hours. There's not an adult I know that has four hours, especially during this time of year, right. to sit in a waiting room. And just as they pick up my file, this woman comes in sobbing and she's bleeding down her leg, and I'm like. Ooh. puts my file back down, takes her back, and they're like, you've got to go to the emergency room. She's screaming and flailing, and they're pinning her down. She goes, I'm not going to the emergency room. Just fix it. So an hour later, they bring her out in a wheelchair, and there's an ambulance outside. And they they take her, her to the emergency right. So room. an hour after that, so it's about four and a half hours now. I, I, and then so it, he looks at me, and then five so minutes later, I'm out with my steroids. It's your turn. Steroids. Five minutes. So you could have done a drive through Pretty much, yeah. And just reaches out and touches your throat and, and gives you the meds. He pretty much palpitated my glands and then listened to make sure I didn't have pneumonia. That was it. So by tomorrow, ideally, my voice will be back to normal, and I hope that your bleeding leg is better. And maybe you can get past your fear of the emergency room. They're very nice there, too. All right, I want to tell you Four something that had, they had uh, uh, kind of a surprise. Matt Lauder got fired from the Today Show. and uh, Well, there have been rumors about him for years, but I, didn't, I, reason, I thought it was infidelity. I didn't realize he was actually being sexually abusive. The reason uh, they fired him is because the articles are coming out, uh, and they knew what they were up against, and so they decided to get rid of him. Um, everyone was like, because he's been like 20 years, right? And he's like the anchor for this thing. And usually that would mean... Yeah, he's the image, he's the face. The show would collapse and all this stuff. Their ratings have gone up. And I'm sure a lot of people being curious, how, 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 how is it going to work now? What, what are they going to do? And if you're, a, you know, like a soap opera, people just stay with a soap opera and they know everything about it. Well, they know these people like family. Yeah. So the dynamics changing and stuff. But that's kind of a cool support for the women. And I thought so too. And they're kind of working through, along with the producers. Okay, where are we going to go? What are we going to do? Who's going to fill these roles and stuff like that? So, well, it's interesting because the people have, <clears throat> and I think logically, have questioned. Well, does this mean that anytime there's any kind of an allegation, these men are losing their careers and their reputations and blah blah blah? You have to understand the ones that you're seeing getting ousted, and that have no defense, and they go, "Yeah, sorry, I'm out of here." There is such incontrovertible evidence, and there's so many repeated levels of allegations, or there's very well-documented research news articles coming out. These are the ones that there's, it's not going to be an argument. It hasn't even gone to court yet, but it's... They, they know. So, yes, I'm sure there's a, a pyramid of false allegations, which makes me hate these people for doing that. Right. But the, these are the substantive, well-documented right. ones that they're not getting out of it. Well, I just like the fact that they're, the women are being supported. Yeah, as I it should be. I think that's cool, yeah. And now there's a lot of extra money floating around the show because <laughs> he got paid. Good girls. A crap load of Enjoy. money. Enjoy. All right, coming up, coming up. Uh, I'm gonna. Oh, oh, soft tissue injury. You know how they're gonna fix it? They're gonna freeze your fanny off. And that that's sounds delightful. Up. But first, Daisy in the Gephardt Daily Newsroom. So let's go to her. She's brought to you by Think and McGregor. Mortgage is made simple. If you go to think-mcgregor.com, you can find out amazing information. You can get a you can get a mortgage with a credit score as low as six hundred. Also by the Vein Clinic. These are my personal favorite people. They just fixed my leg and my varicose veins. Literally within half an hour, while I checked messages on my phone, and it didn't even hurt. This is something you could do with your your cafeteria money this month. Go to theveinclinic.com and set up a consultation at the Riverton office. And also by Black Diamond Experts. They are experts in electric, plumbing, heating, and air. You'll be glad you called an expert, 801-207-7976. Daisy, my dear, what's going on? Good morning, Todd and Aaron. Hello again, everyone. Here's a look at national and world headlines for Wednesday, December 13th on GebhardtDaily.com. There's shock and surprise in the heart of Dixie after Democrat Doug Jones narrowly won Alabama's tightly contested Senate race against GOP hopeful Roy Moore. Jones topped Moore by more than 1% in a crushing rebuke of Donald Trump's endorsement of the controversial Mr. Moore. Jones will become the first Democratic senator from Alabama in more than a generation. South Korea is expressing its support for talks between Washington and North Korea after U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson said Tuesday he'd be willing to sit down with the North with no preconditions. The statement flies in the face of recent statements made by Donald Trump, who has said the time for negotiations have passed. Tillerson and Trump have been feuding ever since Tillerson referred to Trump as a moron during a July staff meeting. And a Japan-based startup, iSpace, is aiming to make tourists 
to take tourists on lunar expe uh, expeditions as early as 2019. The company has raised more than 90 million from investors in just one week. And backers include some of Japan's largest companies, including Japan Airlines and Minolta. iSpace predicts the moon will have 1,000 residents by 2040, as well as 10,000 visitors annually. That's it for now. For more headlines from across the country and around the world, go to getpartdaily.com. Todd and Aaron, back to you. All right, welcome back to the Todd and Aaron Morning Stream, getpartdaily.com. This, uh, I got to tell you about uh, all Utah plumbing. No, do I do that? No, I've already done that. You've already done I've that. I've already right? done that. I get to go to my. Okay, so here's the deal uh, Black Diamond. Okay, here's the thing I love about Black Diamond. Um, they are experts, and when they say experts, it really is nice because it's pretty much. Anything in your house that can screw up, they can fix. It's electric, plumbing. Really, you're eating the bacon while I'm trying to do Keep the Keep talking. Experts in plumbing, electric, heating, and air. So anything that goes wrong, they're the guys who can come in and fix it for you. Unless someone's driven a truck through your house, and then it's a whole new story. But the nice thing about these guys is they're 24-7. So maybe you're a business and you need to get something fixed before you open for business. They can come at 6 o'clock in the morning. Uh, maybe you have a horrible wet basement at 3 o'clock in the morning on Christmas Eve. Gross. They're here for you. They'll come. The nice thing about it, though, when you have that kind of service, it's just it makes it so much easier to get what you need when you need it. And once they give you a bid, that's the bid you pay. No extra fees. No sneaky hidden charges, which I hate. So put this on your list of guys that you call when you need help because they're the guys you can trust. It's Black Diamond X. All right, so Aaron. Yes. Aaron had an injury um, and has over the years. Uh, and uh, sh and I say, here, put some ice on. She goes, no, I don't want to. And I go, here, put some ice on. She goes, no, I don't want to. And then you put ice on. And what happens? I feel better. It shrinks the inflammation. Inflammation. Inflammation? Go ahead, have a piece of bacon. Um, Keep talking, baby. $75. Perfection. Three minutes to feel better. In Los Angeles. You know what they do? They have three of them. Here, I look them up. Cryotherapy. You know, they, they 300 degrees. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's enough. It's distracting. Oh, yeah, now it's distracting. Three, three, yeah, I know. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, uh, 500 to 800, uh, oh, excuse me, 300 degrees below zero. You take off your clothes. You walk into the chamber, just like you're picturing, like the fly, a chamber where you stand up and there's a glass door so people can watch you die. And first of all, cryotherapy, you know what we call that in Maine? We call it ice fishing. <laughs> that's, that's what you do. You ice fish. So you go in for three minutes and you come out and they put you on a jiggly pad to get your red blood cells moving again and, they, um, and you get this thing of happiness and euphoria and it's supposed to help your problem with your soft tissue injury. I wonder if I could do that for my elbow so I could do push-ups again. That would be so cool. Can't do push-ups 300 degrees below zero. Well, I wasn't planning to do it in there. They go through and you have to sign off on a big thing about uh, heart issues and stuff like that for the liability. They call it the Urban Anti-Spa. Do they cleanse you of toxins? I'm assuming so. Eight, 500 to 800 calories burned in three minutes. How long can I stay in there? You can't. You can can't. I stay in How long? No. Because I could do that like... This is like they, they cryogenically froze Disney, you know. I think that's true. This is very exciting <clears throat> news. You didn't mention about the calorie burn. I know. I just remembered it. And then you come out and you put your robe back on and you kind of do this and they put you on a jiggly pad and then you come back to life, basically. And then you get become this euphoric thing and you feel better. I was going to laugh and go, oh, it's spa treatments for the rich. And now I'm going like, really? Because this you didn't mention the whole calorie part. 75 bucks for three minutes. Now, they actually have that some... That means I'd only need about $475,000 to get all the calories. Times $75. I'd rather have you plumpish. The Food and Drug Administration... You think I'm fat? You just said I'm plump. No, I did not. You said I'm plump. Do you think I'm fat? No. Plumpish. Plumpish is fat. You've been talking about that, about You think I'm losing fat. What? You just said that I'm plumpish. All right, then. <laughs> you did. You said I'm fat. Shh. Don't say. Don't talk. Don't. 
You're good. I love you so much. My turtle dove, don't ruin it. My <laughs> little dove. Um, uh, the, the Food and Drug Administration actually uh, thinks that the, there is some beneficial things to this treatment. That's pretty cool. Once they get the FDA, that's a nice deal. 300 degrees below zero. Talk about shrinkage. It's I mean, you, you'd be shrinkaged for like a month. Seriously. You, you'd be like... So many words are coming to my mind right now I am sure that I cannot that, say. I'm sure everything comes back to life just the way it's supposed to. Or does it? I don't think any men would be doing it if it didn't. Oh, that would just be the... I've been in the pool. Um, Moving on. In any case, if you're interested, I actually did find three clinics here in, along the Wasatch Are there really? Mm -hmm. What's it called? It's cryotherapy. Cryotherapy. The brain surgery thing, this is going to kill you. No, wait, you're going to talk about San Francisco, San Francisco first. first? Yeah. Okay, you know, Todd and I have done a lot of trips down to San Francisco because he loves Chinatown and his birthday's right around Chinese New Year. So we go down and yes. we'll watch the parades and get some dim sum and mm -hmm. find somewhere where they'll serve you something filled with beaks and feet. And ah! Something sticking out of a rice bowl. And you really love it. I want anytime. one of those. Come back. He always gets this. One of the waitresses will be some nice lady who will like doesn't speak English, but will take him under her wing, and she'll start bringing out weird stuff. And I'm over here having my, you know, my rice buns, and yeah, it's just troubling. I, I think you've eaten things. Chicken claw sticking out of a bowl. There might have been protein-based items that you weren't even sure what animal it came from, were you? That's why it's good, and you know how you find the best dim sum places. You find the longest line, mm -hmm. and I think we were the only uh, white people there. And just the atmosphere, because they're big halls, you know, they're big places. And Can just, everyone talk and the music? The, it was so much it's fun. It's just so much fun. And, the, it, and it's so different, you know, because everybody's speaking Chinese. And it was just, it's anyway, such a beautiful language. It's one of too. my favorite things. Well, in any case, so um, one of the things about San Francisco, though, is, is that they have extremely lenient laws towards the homeless. They do. Now, I would assume being homeless, I wouldn't protected. want to stay in San Francisco because it's really cold there, even in summer. Right. I'd say protective. Protective. Right. And there's a couple that we love. There's a guy who has a gigantic branch, and he hides behind it, and then he jumps out and scares you. He's called the Bushman. He's been doing it forever. It's just like his career. It's his thing. Someone else tried doing it, and there was an issue. Yeah, it's like, this is my thing. Right. So you have to give him money because you want to talk to him and go, why the bush? Yeah. But in any case, they have very highly protective laws to the point if they're camped in front of your business, right. you can't move them. Mm -hmm. However, things have changed recently, and... Um, the rule now is is if you can stop them before setting up camp, right. that's legal. Okay. So what they have been using are security robots, and I am not making this up. That's not true. They are, show the picture. They are using security robots what? to move people along if they try to start setting up camps. Why don't you um, just steal the robot? And ironically, it's it's being difficult. homeless doesn't make you a thief. Probably really heavy. Yeah, and where are you going to hide it? In your yeah. sleeping bag? It's true. But it's interesting. The SPCA was one of them. They said that we have had fewer tents. We, all the car break-ins have stopped since we started using the security. Right. Robot. Now they're using it in front of a couple of the art museums. It just sounds so bizarre to me that it's patrolling the block. It seems very, I don't know, Orwellian or something where it's like... Scary. Yeah, that we're, and they basically just drive them off and they go back and forth. And one of the homeless people said, he says, I feel like a pigeon. You know how oh. they have you know they have the barbed oh. wire and the spike things now so oh. pigeons won't land places yeah. because I feel like a pigeon. In some uh, other cities, they um, they had metal triangles and they were about this tall, and they're pointy because they're pyramids. That's what they look like. And outside the doors, except for where the door sweeps, <coughs> they uh, they attach them to the whole el el alcove uh, in mm -hmm. there so you couldn't lay down on it. That's just mean. I think this is mean. No, I'm with you. I mean, when we worked downtown, there was an abandoned building across the street, and right. we called it the Homeless Hilton. The, the Ze Zephyr Club down on the West Temple. And we had, and there would be homeless people who would sleep in each alcove, and we know who they were, and there were a couple that would sleep underneath our windows, and, you know, Todd would go down and try to slip them stuff. But we knew their names. We were worried if we didn't see them that night. I mean, you know, that was that was where they were. That was their place. And it may be mental illness, or maybe there's not room in the inn, so to speak, or maybe they have another problem, but... They have to sleep, too. Yeah, this is true. Um, Maybe you could just set up tent on the robot, like piggyback it, and just, just kind of get a little nap. Just be creepy looking. I think it'd be kind of awesome. All right, let's talk about the uh, health insurance. Health insurance sucks. We all know that. Oh, no, but this one. I'll be right back. Do you really? Have it? Yeah, yeah I'll got be right it. back. Go ahead. You're getting verklempt. 
The huh? Todd and Aaron Morning Stream is brought to you by Fink and McGregor. If you go to fink-mcgregor.com, there's a short four-minute quiz, and at the end of it, you can find a whole array of mortgage options, and someone will call you back from Fink and McGregor within the next business day. Also by Utah Credit Approval. Go to utahcreditapproval.com because they know that bad things happen to good people, but that shouldn't stop you from repairing your credit and getting a reliable automobile at utahcreditapproval.com. And also you all Utah plumbing, heating, and air. John has 24-7 service because he knows that emergencies can happen any time of the day or night and right now they have a $69 special to check out all your heating systems to make sure they're working well just go to allutahplumbing.com apply today and drive away <laughs> I'm just kidding it's John with all Utah plumbing, heating, and air. Give us a call so that you don't get cold delivered. All right. Here's the mysterious ins and outs of insurance, and this is what perplexes me. Kara Pressman's 15 years old, and um, she has seizures. Uh, I, we understand this because our twins have seizures, and, mm -hmm. we, and we know how serious it is and how heartbreaking. And there she is. This She's is adorable. Charlie, cute little face. And then um, her neurologist had said, you know what, there is a procedure we can right. use on you. It's a laser-based procedure. She said, it is newer, but we've had fantastic results, and it's minimally invasive. Now, the old version of this is basically what they do is they cut your skull open, and they cut it up here, and they remove the piece of skull. Then they go in with sca temporal lobe. scalpels, and they actually try to cut it out. Then they put your head back together. And number one, ouch. Number two, it's a young woman. And the other version is they make a hole about the size of a dime. They go in with lasers and they hit the lesions and it's done. Now, it has been approved. It is out there. Yeah, it has been approved and that's the important thing. So her doctors are like, neurologists are, we're going to set this up. And so they're ecstatic. Her family's ecstatic. She's ecstatic. It is her grandma and grandpa's 90th wedding and her 90th birthday party. So... 90th wedding anniversary would be really old. Yeah. And so there's family coming in for that, and they're like, well, come in early, and we'll be there for you in the hospital, and all of her friends are making plans and getting right. time off work. We'll come and be supporting you. And then one day before the surgery, they said, you don't qualify for that because we consider it experimental. Apparently, an insurance company can deem on their own whether or not something is experimental or mm -hmm. not, which is what do you mean other people are doing it? So she's sitting there sobbing. They said, we will approve you for the other one, which was three times more expensive. And, you know, the wildly um, invasive one, but they said, but we're not going to give you. And the other one's much more, um, and there's, better, better success with. Well, and the scary thing about the big surgery is there's also a ton more complications. Yeah. Death, um, paralysis, blindness. You imagine your seizures going away in one day. I mean, and it's, so it's, really frustrating and they've been going through this they keep talking they keep going through this and uh, finally she's lost her patience she, she said considering you're denying me getting my surgery and stopping this thing that's wrong with my brain <laughs> here she goes i say screw you <laughs> and she's this nice girl but she's just but this is the weird ins and outs of, of insurance where they can make random decisions and you can go back and you can protest, and we've been through this a million times too. But one of our favorite things is like every year they they call or they contact you, uh, and our friends have had this too. And our friends has a, has a condition; if he doesn't take his medicine, he will die, and I mean that die. Um, and the the company, the insurance company's coming. To, is this medicine really necessary? He has to get like three letters from doctors, and they have to call and. It's and I don't know if you've it's like got, it's the same condition as last year. Yeah. No, I'd like to go back and have that horrible uh, situation for myself. Thank you. It's like you've been cured and you keep getting your prescription. It's just, but that's who they are. Gosh darn it. But she's 15. And, but, but this is the part. And it's that got even, a potty mouth. I wonder that's what's going to happen. That's the part that's so frustrating to me, though. It's a cheaper procedure. It's not. It wouldn't even cost them as much. It's like some of the preventative procedures that they won't allow being done, but um, they deal with this at the vein clinic all the time. You know, they say, oh, no, you know, varicose veins are cosmetic when they can be incredibly painful and they can right. go to bigger things. And then by the time your leg is atrophied and you've got big scarring and you're about to lose your foot, right. then they go, okay, we have to fix that. And then it costs more. Tens of thousands of dollars. And you don't get to be healthy. Yeah, so it, I don't know. Anyway, it's, it's basically just about the weird ins and outs of, of 
what happens, but they do have some interesting tips here, and I'm going to put them up on Facebook about ways to like deal in a sane manner with your insurance company and things that you might be able to do that get them to change their mind faster. So. Our, our company likes to change my birthday by one day, and that takes about a oh, week and a half to straighten out. And they say, what's your name? Todd, when's your birthday? So-and-so. No, it's not. They did that with me for three years. And Apparently, like, I was born two years later than I I was you. younger by a day. Well, there you go. It felt great. All right, so outside, it is bad weather. Uh, it's snog. It's smog and fog. And uh, we're going to end the show. We're going to take you out there. Okay, first, before we go, though, I just oh, want right. to remind you. Here you go. This is the deal from our friends up at... Always eBay, always, always Black, Black Friday. Friday so. I really like them, too. They're such nice guys. You can tell they haven't slept for a week. 50% off any red toy item, if you mention Todd and Aaron. And also, the free speaker, while supplies last, and all you have to do is just mention our names. So, Todd and Aaron special, well, always Black was. Friday. And, yeah, this sucker is free with your purchase, if you mention our names. Huh? All right. Nice. All right, we're going to show them the fog. Come with me, my darling. I know what the fog looks like, and I have bacon. Come with me. I have bacon waiting I, for me. Not okay. for long. Not Apparently for not. Long. All right, we're going to see what the weather is outside. Oh, it's not bad right outside the door. So this is going to be like kind of a deflating into the show. Is that what you're thinking now? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's good. Go it's kind of pretty. I'm getting the bacon. <laughs> I'll be right back. I gotta get the bacon. I love you, hon.